turn around. So when I address the congregation, I will turn around and face you. And when we pray, we will face the altar uh, towards uh, the image. And I don't know where is the tabernacle. I think that's the tabernacle. Right? You yeah. see that lantern? Uh, around the corner there, there's a giant tabernacle. It's really, it's bigger than this altar and, and tall. And they have big doors they can open up. So we're facing the direction of, the, of Jesus. So, okay. Now today is the memorial of St. Jerome. But it's also a special place to be here. Um, the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe. So the mass prayers will be for the Blessed Mother. The readings is of the day and we will remember St. Jerome, but more important is the Blessed Mother. So the prayers will be not from St. Jerome, the prayers will be for the Blessed Mother. Okay? Everybody's here? Okay. Len, you're good with the readings? Just do the one verse. Okay. Lord, we have praise to our God, who left all the things to our May we are the blessings we bear in those who trust in His praise. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And also with you. Brothers and sisters, it is a great honor, a pleasure, a joy for us to be at this basilica and this wonderful place. Let us call to mind our sinfulness our unworthiness, and ask the Lord to cleanse us with his mercy. I confess to all my God, God and to you, to you my, my brothers and sisters, sisters, sisters that I have sinned, sinned through my own fault, and my thoughts and my, my words, words and what I have done, done what I have failed to do. And I ask and this, Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, Pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Be to God.
They have poured out their blood like water around about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become a reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and the derivation of those around us. O well, Lord, how long will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn our hearts? For the fire. For the glory of the God. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory of the name of the Lord, Lord, Lord deliver us. us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory, the glory of your name, name, Lord, Lord deliver us. us. she was Jewish uh, from her background. Her religion was Jewish until a few years ago. Um, many, many years ago, maybe five years ago, she found out that she had brain cancer. And she was told that she only had a short time to live. And so she, she got a divorce from her husband and she began to live life very wild and crazy. She figured that if she was gonna die, she wanted to go out with a bang and have as much fun as she could. And after she had spent a lot of time doing this, she found that she felt empty inside. And so she started to look for what is the meaning or purpose of life. And so she went on the internet and she Googled um, the meaning of life. And she found lots and lots and lots of websites that talked about Jesus, uh, Christ Christianity. And although she grew up here in America, but her family was Jewish, she had not heard much about who Jesus was. And as she read these stories about the meaning of life and connecting it to Jesus, to know God, to love God, to serve Him, she became, fallen. she found herself falling in love with Jesus. She would join a Protestant church, a Christian church. And she began to study more about the roots and origins of Christianity. And as she did so, she studied her way into the Catholic Church. And this led her back to her husband. They got married again. So she got back with her husband and her family. And she was recently brought into the Catholic Church through the RCI program. And she still has brain cancer. Uh, she's being treated for it. It's in a remission. And she's a volunteer now at the shrine to help people with cancer to know God. And she would say to us today, she would say, although getting cancer is terrible, it's the best thing that ever happened to me because it led me to Jesus. It led me to the church. And the truth is, is that today we have so many vehicles that can teach us about Jesus. You have a question about the Bible. You have a question about something you heard that's in the Bible, but you don't remember what passage. You can Google just about anything and find an answer on the internet. We have access to more information about Jesus today than any other day and age. 
Um, there's nothing that you can't find on the internet. Any of the church's teachings, you have a question about abortion, you can click on Google, ask what does the church teach about abortion. You have a question about um, who Mary's mother and father was, you can Google <coughs> uh, Blessed Mother Mary's mother and father. You can Google and you find any answer. If you need proofs about how, how, how is religion true, you can find in Google um, miracles, true miracles, and you will find miracles such as Our Lady of Guadalupe, something that happened hundreds of years ago but still draws people to the faith because of this miraculous event. You can find miracles about Lanciano when the, the Eucharist turned into real flesh and real blood. And there are no, many, many, many miracles that if somebody were doubting their faith, they could go online and find uh, scientifically verified miracles showing and proving that yes, uh, God is real and God is with us. And so Jesus in this gospel today, he says, woe to you, Chorazan, uh, Tyre and Sidon, because if the, you know, the people had seen the miracles that were working here, um, these other people would have converted a long time ago. And so he's condemning these people because they have seen Jesus, but they still don't believe. And I think today, how much more does that hold true for our day and age? When we are so uh, close to any information we want. In the time of Jesus, they had to go and find Jesus or find somebody who knew something about him. But today you could turn on the TV and find EWTN and find the Mass. You could go on Google and find out any information. You could look up pictures of the Vatican, all these different places to inspire your faith. The only reason today that people aren't religious is because they've chosen not to. They've chosen not to believe. They don't want to accept Jesus. They don't want to make any changes in their life that may make them uncomfortable. And the sad thing is, is they don't know how badly they need him. We all have the poison in us, the poison of concupiscence, the poison of sin, and we need Jesus to free us from that. And so the same warning that Jesus gave to his cities and towns because of their disbelief is present to us today. We have so many miracles that people can can find out about. We have so much information and good teaching in the church uh, that today is more than abundant. And so I would say that as we are here at this place uh, where the Blessed Mother converted so many millions of, of Indians to the Catholic faith, let us ask her to start with ourselves if there's any disbelief in our hearts that she may strengthen our faith and then we should also pray for, for the conversion of our own family members and also the conversion of uh, our society uh, in the United States or in different areas of Indonesia or even Mexico. There's lots of people still who haven't heard about or haven't come to believe in Jesus Christ. And so we should pray for them uh, because that's the best thing for them. Jesus said uh, that we should love everyone, that even we should love our, our enemies. And the kind of love that he's talking about is to have the other person's best interest at heart. What could be a better interest than for us to want somebody to get to heaven, to help them to get to heaven? And if they have refused to accept Jesus, the best thing we can do for them is, is pray for them, that something in their life will happen that will lead them back to Jesus. For Michelle Fletcher, it was her coming up with cancer. Many people say, oh, that was a terrible thing that you have the cancer. But she said, today is the best thing that ever happened to me because without it, I would never have come to know who Jesus is. And so we pray for our own conversion and we also, we pray for the conversion of our family and the conversion of the world. Amen? Amen. Amen. Together, let us now stand as we offer our prayer to all those who are despairing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Amen. We pray for those poor souls in our own families and around the world who have not accepted Jesus into their own life. We pray that they may come to know the truth and to embrace the light of the world, which is Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all of us that as Jesus has commanded us to love one another as he has loved us, we ask Jesus to strengthen our love that we may care for others and teach them the truth of our faith that we ourselves have embraced. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. We pray for our pilgrimage that we may grow 
in our faith, in our, our understanding of our faith, the roots of uh, certain beliefs of our faith. We, play, we pray also for a safe journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear prayer. We pray for our families and friends back home, all those who we have promised to pray for, that God may see their need and answer those, those needs in accordance <coughs> with His most holy will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Lord, prayer. Lord, hear prayer. We pray for all who have died in the peace of Christ and the hope of everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Lord, prayer. Lord, Lord, pray. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you all of these, our prayers and petitions. We ask you to hear and answer them in accordance with your will through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. 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 Blessed be God forever. Brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, six sacrifices in your hands. His name. For our Father, the birth of Christ, your Son, deepened the Virgin Mother's love for you and increased her holiness. May the humanity of Christ give us courage in our weakness. May it free us from our sins and make our offering acceptable. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks to Him. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, she became the Virgin Mother of your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is forever the light of the world. Through him the choirs of angels and all the powers of heaven praise and worship your glory. May our voices blend with theirs as we join in their unending hymn of praise. Gave the cup 
up to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Together we now pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. takes away the sins of the world. 
Happy are they who are called to his suffering. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus bring us to everlasting life.
And so we are grateful to St. Jerome because he <coughs> did a great lot of work. And if you ever see how thick the Bible is, he had to do all that translation from Hebrew into Latin. Okay? Do we have to meet somewhere downstairs?